Thank you, ma'am. Madam Chairwoman, Ranking Member, and members of the subcommittee, on behalf of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America's 180,000 members and supporters, I'd like to thank you for inviting IAVA to testify today. My name is Tim Embry, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and I serve two tours in Iraq, the United States Marine Corps Reserve. Veterans housing and home ownership is a critical issue facing Iraq and Afghanistan veterans, and IAVA welcomes the opportunity to discuss the VA Loan Guarantee Program with you today. Due to the current housing crisis, we are beginning to see some of the shortfalls of the VA Loan Guarantee Program. This popular benefit is well administered, and since 1944, the VA has made 18 million homes affordable for troops and veterans by acting as a guarantor of the mortgage loans. Tragically, during the peak of the housing bubble, the number of new VA loans declined. As the marketing of subprime mortgages seemed to have drawn troops and veterans away from the VA Home Loan Program. In early 2008, foreclosure rates in military towns were increasing at four times the national average. The net effect of the widespread targeted advertising of subprime loans and the deterrence of the limits and fees of the VA loans is that veterans who may have qualified for VA-backed mortgages are now struggling with a subprime mortgage at high risk of foreclosure. This is especially unfortunate given that VA-backed home loans protect the veteran borrower from many of the risks associated with the mortgage offered to subprime borrowers. As the mortgage crisis has expanded, one positive is the popularity of the VA Home Loans Program has increased. The renewed interest in VA loans is good news. Veterans are better served, better served by VA loans, and we have earned our benefit. But there is much more to be done to help service members and veterans to get the full benefit of the VA Loan Program. Congress has already taken some action to improve the resources available to troops and veterans facing mortgage problems. The Housing and Economic Recovery Act of 2008 raised the loan ceiling for VA home loans in some areas and gave service members nine months protection from foreclosure after returning from a deployment. In addition, VA authority to refinance loans has been expanded. But there remain serious concerns about the structural limitations of the VA refinancing program and the lack of outreach to veterans regarding VA financial counseling. The VA Loan Guarantee Program helps thousands of our nation's veterans realize the dream of home ownership home ownership each year, but we must keep this program secure and ensure that it continues to meet the future needs of service members, veterans, and their families. Veterans have, turned, have earned their GI Bill benefits and are using this benefit to increase their value to the civilian workforce. Currently, the money they receive from their VA benefits is not taken into consideration when they apply for a VA home loan. Without the benefit income on their application, veterans can look like an inferior loan candidate Student veterans should not have to choose between taking advantage of the new GI Bill benefit and buying a home. Purchasing your first home is not like buying a television. There are many steps and hidden costs that can catch the potential home buyer unaware. If we have learned anything from the recent home buying home housing crisis, it is, important, it is the importance of a well-informed home buyer. The VA Loan Guarantee Program is one of the best deals out there, but it's still a complicated process. The VA should impl implement local home purchasing workshops to prepare veterans for the complicated process of purchasing a home loan, as well as to promote the, the of purchasing a home, as well as to promote the benefits of the VA Loan Guarantee Program. These workshops should be held at local vet centers. These are welcoming facilities where veterans and their families can learn about the many different programs available to them, as well as meet fellow veterans facing similar situations. Due to the current financial crisis, interest rates across the board remain low. A limited number of VA approved lenders makes it nearly impossible for a veteran to shop around for a better uh, interest rate for a VA loan. This non-competitive environment puts veterans at a great disadvantage. While interest rates are artificially low, we must encourage more lending institutions to take part in this program. Many lenders are leery of the process to become an approved VA lender due to ignorance of the program and ignorance of the ease of the process to become an approved VA lender. The VA must aggressively market this program to more lenders across the country. Although 90% of current, although 90% of current VA-backed home loans were given without a down payment, the VA program has seen relatively few foreclosures compared with non-VA lenders nationwide. As lenders are becoming more risk adverse, the VA much must preach to mortgage lenders the inviolability of VA loan guarantee program. Our veterans have earned the VA home loan benefit and thousands of these veterans are ready to purchase their first home. We must update and streamline this phenomenal benefit to ensure today's and tomorrow's veterans will be able to purchase their own home. Thank you for your time today, and I look forward to answering any questions you may have.
I, I think uh, just off the top of my head, the first two things I would really like to see to help get this program out there. One is to engage the VSO community actively. Uh, if you look at the military coalition itself, of all the members, every one of our organizations has a very active web presence. So something as simple as reaching out to the veteran service organizations, asking them to put some sort of link or widget or button on their websites. Because what happens is our members are the veterans that need this information. These are folks that are very active in the community that want to learn this kind of stuff. So just one, engaging the veteran service organizations, and two, using the vet centers. We've seen recently that vet centers are becoming kind of the go-to shop for a lot of different things that the current veterans, or new veterans are dealing with currently. And it's not just the veterans that are using it now, we're seeing some of their spouses are actually attending the vet centers. So it's a really great opportunity to get information from not just the individual veteran, but their spouses as well. From hearing from our membership, we've had kind of anecdotal evidence of folks that are struggling through these programs. But uh, from my understanding is our membership does divert these folks over to the VA for the VA counseling because it is a very robust program. Uh, well, sir, actually, uh, yeah, actually, yes, sir. <laughs> Um, I actually got that from our report uh, that we wrote recently in 2009 on, uh, on veterans coming home and we handled homelessness as well as home ownership. Uh, there's a lot of different anecdotal evidence of why those uh, foreclosure rates were so high at the peak. Uh, some of it has been uh, explained to be from the, uh, not predatory lending, but because of the, the subprime mortgage uh, programs were targeted towards military families very often in a lot of these small town environments.